Um, How did, the, did spider they, was it tights. obvious that it was a wig? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was, was having a fun. Wig. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we have them on the show, and this is what makes them fun. You're listening to KXV as the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. <laughs> Do you want to relive the golden days of Stockton? Join Nate Knott on Stockton Alive every first and third Monday at 6 p.m. Tune into the voice of Stockton.org. My name is Josh, and you're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. Hello, hello, women in business. Happy hump day today. We are here with the voice of Stockton. Yes, Chef Tobias Cooks on the voice of Stockton. You can see me live here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope. Also go on to the voice of Stockton.com. Remember to like, share, and donate. Like, share, and donate and support your local radio business and also support all of your local businesses all right i am so excited how are you doing renee i'm doing great all right thank you for jumping in (laughs) this is what we do here at the voice of stockton we support one another and we just jump on in and get on there so today's show i'm sure you're interested to know we're gonna do it in about 20 minutes Today's show is not only women in business, but we will be discussing is your business ready for 2019? Oh. And what are the trends for 2019? Nice. All right. So what is your take when you think <laughs> of trends for uh, we gotta scoot together? Girl. Okay. What is your I still wanna hover over your cup? Oh. <laughs> I know I have all kinds of stuff up here. I got coffee. I got water, girl. Yeah. So what is, when you hear trends for 2019 for women businesses, what do you automatically think of? Yes, well, you New know, skincare products, um, moving a little bit more away yes. from the pharmaceuticals yes. um, and more into more organics, I yes. think. Yes. Um, that's something that I think is going to be trending, definitely is trending already. I yes. think it's going to continue um, mm-hmm. to be more prevalent. Yes, well, the trends for health and beauty are going to take a huge turn especially with diet yes especially right now within the 2019 trends are ai artificial artificial intelligence has all it's been here Mm -hmm. it's always been here it will continue to be here now and with health and beauty it will grow and it will integrate with it as well um so when we're talking about can i give an example of that okay (laughs) okay so um you know there's a cream that's out Mm -hmm. and um it's like this miracle cream and they have videos Mm -hmm. showing it like in time lapse where they put it on wrinkles on the on mm-hmm. uh, the cream on the wrinkles mm-hmm. and then literally like they just go away in front of your eyes really and so i thought well that's pretty interesting because it's already mm-hmm. working with ai you know in the yes. sense that uh, technology is yes. getting to that the stem so, it's the level. yeah mm-hmm. and that's what uh beauty and health have in common with ai is the stem the stem mm-hmm. cells we're talking about uh the stem cell um if you're not familiar with that um look that up it's s t E R M. There you go. <laughs> Stem cell. So look that up. That is very uh, trend. Well, that will be very trendy in the health and beauty as well. Also, 
that. Yeah, also with uh, the lipstick products, mm. lipsticks are made differently now, especially in 2019. Um, you will not see a lot of products with animal, mm. um, animal fat or anything like that in lipsticks. I have on a lipstick now that's organic base. How does um, that feel? Because I, I have to say mm -hmm. the, the one thing, and, and I'm not condoning the use of animals ever, mm -hmm. but I'm sure mm -hmm. there's like an additive to help it with the lubrication of it. Well, because I noticed the mm -hmm. lipsticks now are more matted and they're yes. not as glossy. Uh, well, well, I mean, it's, um, mm -hmm. I guess you can say for the lip, mm -hmm. for the reparation of itself. So they're not drying out. They're not as lubricating and or hydrating. Yes. Well, I will say this much that I use uh, Vaseline and okay. cocoa butter. Okay. So you do for have my lips. Else yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. But and it's not in the lipstick. And then I apply it over. <laughs> and then I apply it over okay. my, um, um, then I apply the color mm -hmm. on top. But um, in ancient cultures, you can achieve it through beet powder, mm -hmm. henna, mm -hmm. um, through uh, dyes, even through lavender. Mm -hmm. There's some... Um, there's some other fruits and vegetables that have natural dyes. Um, if you look at cultures even today, the women, a lot of their lips are stained. Mm. So that's something that's always have been there i'm so curious to know more about the lipsticks but we're gonna like no, see gonna, what else we got going on because there's a lot trending we, yes and i have a lot of notes <laughs> as well so let's get started so are is your business ready for 2019 um so before i get into the trends uh for women businesses um you can also go on to uh the um internet and look this up you could do a little research for yourself this is not everyone does not fit in a particular category but for what i have here is some of the things that i will be using for my business going forth in 2019 uh 2019 trends we're going to see advertising trends advertising is something you say advertising is not a trend they've been doing that forever but there are some things that are going to be trendy and it looks like they're going to be staying one of them of course is social media social media will be switching to paid advertising right now you can advertise your business on your personal page unfortunately a lot of times when you do that you will get blocked mm. so in 2019 be careful of your tags your hashtags be careful of your businesses and also putting your domain sites on your personal page um, on social media I'm seeing this with Facebook Instagram that you will have to switch over to a business account just to even advertise so 2019 will be full in force of paid advertising also hey auntie lord how you doing that's my auntie that's my auntie hi auntie. that's my auntie yeah she taught me how to cook goulash hey. and collard greens yes hey. yes yes hey. All right. Another thing is um, trendy for advertising is premiere upgrades. Yes, there will be a lot of upgrades for Snapchat, Fiverr, um, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, these accounts will have premium upgrades. So not only do you get an account, you get a basic account, but now you have to upgrade to a business account. And then you got to get pay. that business account, then you have to upgrade to the premium account. The only downfall mm -hmm. about that is there's no pay on the back of that so I won't be able to get paid from it you won't be able to get paid for it you still have to go on the system of uh, generating how many people you have to receive that star or mm. celebrity star or if you have 10,000 or more then you can go on to Facebook watch I'm curious to know who structured how that how that all operated well we could talk about that off yeah, camera how about that because that's a padded room conversation session girl <laughs> yes the other one is marketing autom um optimization so listen this i see a lot i'm starting to see businesses are popping up and saying hey we can market for you we can post we can schedule your post out for you if you have a business and you're busy and you don't have time to do social media or you just um don't really understand the process of so social media we are a business we can schedule out your post for you mm -hmm. well guess what they have apps for that now yes, they do also one thing ai is taking over in 
that. So be careful before you hire someone not to discredit anyone's business because, look, I'm super, super busy. I don't have time all the time to sit down on social medias and the different channels. So it is a good business. It's a chore for me, actually. Yes. But to let you know, AI, AI is taking over in that. It is an app that is called Chatbox. Chat bots um, will allow you to pre-schedule. It will allow you to schedule all the way up to, I think, six months. Another one is Hoop. And all your your posts is another one is Hoop. Hoop. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that allow you to do one, too. Same thing. Schedule your yeah. yep, schedule whenever you mm-hmm. need to put your posts up. You put it there. You mm-hmm. schedule it. And it just posts when yeah. you need it to and to wherever you need it to, whichever social media platform you're yes. utilizing. Yes, and then also I know what Chatbot is that you can schedule um, – your all of your social media accounts mm-hmm. as well, not just one. Because right. I know before in the past it would have one. Now you'll be able to schedule all mm-hmm. of your uh, social medias as well. Okay, so the other one is combining video and and your video marketing. So we have YouTube, we have Twitch, we have Netflix, we have Vine. Facebook watch those are still kind of hard um, to get on. I know next I know Netflix and Facebook watch um, you see a lot of celebrities on that. you see a lot of most motivational speakers on that a lot of entertainers on that. That's because they have the big money that they can do that type of advertising. I do know for Facebook watch I think you have to have like 20,000 um, friends or likes mm-hmm. in order to even qualify your video for that. So check into that. Um, There are a lot of videos that are popping up on social media. I do videos myself. A lot of people do lives as well. That would be not only a trend for um, social media coming up, but that will also be in... um, something a staple that now you're going to start seeing a lot more videos instead of uh narrative writing um another thing for that is i'm going to circle back to the video part because i have something for you that's very important another thing is campaigns adding campaigns for your business Mm -hmm. when i mean that sponsor if you have a business if you have a real estate business with some businesses women are in uh, if you have a hair fitness, hair, fitness, salons, yeah. hair salons, um, those businesses you can do, you can sponsor another business. Mm-hmm. So I'm having an event coming up. I'm having three events coming up, and I'm looking for some sponsors. So. <laughs> I hear Holla you. at your girl, you shut twice, cause, cause you know how I do. You know I got a large and a huge platform. All right, so um, sponsoring. If you are a small business, uh, go ahead and get out and sponsor other small businesses. Yes. Sponsor events that are going on. Sponsor community events mm-hmm. that's going on. Um, sponsor. You can sponsor your churches. You can sponsor your sororities. You can sponsor um, your children. Mm-hmm. Lots of children events. Um, nonprofit organization needs sponsors as well. That is a great way to get your business out. It's a good way to get your business seen. And also a lot of people that are at those events or um, at those uh, different places, they're more likely to um, do business with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, another one. Check out your software. Getting your business ready for 2009. Software Office 2019 is out. Oh no! I know, <laughs> like five more, like five more uh, uh, buttons, huh? I'm telling you. I don't even know what you know. The I functions type, will change. The icons look different, and then you I know. type something <laughs> in, right? And I type and I put an icon. The word on the 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 word, and I un, I highlighted it right, mm-hmm. and tapped the app. The word jumped and start doing the little dance or something. I'm like, what in the <laughs> but Jesus? What is the world? <laughs> My daughter, I said, Look, what is going Why is on it dancing? Here? She said, Ma, you put the artwork. I said, what? <laughs> she said, the artwork. You tap the artwork. So on the artwork, you can make the word 3D uh-huh. or you can make it wave or you can make it jump around. I'm like, oh, word. All I need to do is just <laughs> type. Like, oh. All I want to do is type. Like, I'm not trying to, you know. So I can just imagine what resumes look like right now. Oh, 
Well, Could you imagine the font sizes and? I hope they're doing a, a resume <laughs> check, like an edit, some grammatical like uh, Girl, check before they send it off. Shoot. I think you and I got a business right there. We yeah. need to see, because I, I need there that are businesses to, out there that yeah, people do to, offer the services of you editing your, your papers. You for need school. your phone to like read yes. over the whole. I do offer thing. services like that. I would. I yes. do. I let people know. I do edit their. All right. Well, give me your information real quick. Shoot, give me your information real quick. You guys. No, Ronnie, find me, Ronnie, Renee, Ronnie, yes. Cassiano. Entrepreneurs, yeah. we have all kinds of hustles. Okay. <laughs> so another thing for small business owners, entrepreneurs, small business owners, women, please, we need to check their employer checklist. Mm. Yes. Um, that is the PFL paid family leave. There are some major changes for 2019. Uh -oh. You guys need to know those, especially if you're yes. in a place where you have, um, you're under, you know, yes. labor laws, you have yes. unions, you mm -hmm. have things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You need to know those changes mm -hmm. if, if you guys are in those positions. I just have to agree. Today. Yes, you do. You have to, um, PFL changes. Yes, we uh, mm. there are serious changes going on, especially women, because we have families, mm -hmm. um, so maternity what, what leave. Um, well, I'm not going to say, because oh, okay. I don't want to get into the logistics oh, okay. of it. But you can look it up online, paidleaf.com, uh, or preferably 2019 PFL lchanges.org mm -hmm. so please check those out also uh, check out your tax income or uh, income tax 2019 mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> there are some like, major oh. huge changes to the tax laws now regarding home businesses small businesses mm. entrepreneurs people that work for themselves there are even and even if you receive a 1099 are they good or bad uh, well you guys gotta be prepared for this like she's trying to let you know so oh, it doesn't no. sound like they're too good oh, for any no. of us. I don't know. Between are, are they trying to pr but, help to promote small businesses? Are between they, are they the paid that? leave and the tax income twenty nineteen? Like huh? There know. are a lot of things that the home uh, business cannot write off mm -hmm. anymore. So if you have a multi level multi level marketing business and you're trying to and you're doing it from home, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things you will not be able to write off. There are a lot of things you have to meet a certain income requirement, um, even for unemployment and for medical benefits requirements. So, yes, there, there are a lot of changes for 2019. We are in 2018, so you'll be safe for that. <laughs> You know, that's kind of good, though, in a way, I have to yes. say, because sometimes I've heard people mm -hmm. talk on the streets or whatever. Mm -hmm. Some are saying, on the streets. Yes. <laughs> you know, they say, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> get mm -hmm. this little job, whatever, mm -hmm. mess up, go and get fired or whatnot. Yeah. And then they're like into unemployment. Exactly. So where unemployment may have some changes as to qualifications oh, and whatnot, maybe that's unemployment a good thing has for some huge changes. So. I'm on the other end of unemployment. I'm that employer, that, that employer, is, that yes. that person that comes work for me. So which I'm saying is the benefit. And do a half job and then get fired or quit. And then that's my money that I have to pay out to oh, them. No. So a lot of it, it's protected for me mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, but there are some huge changes that is going on with that. Yes. Another thing for 2019, look out for small businesses, entrepreneurs. Um, there will be a lot of expos, workshops on digital marketing. If you don't know what digital marketing is, that is also another integrate with AI apps. Now, um, there is, a, I, I don't have her name and I feel bad, I'm going to have to put in a comment, but she does a TED Talk on how to do apps without writing. Nice. Yes. Nice. That you can formulate an app um, just without, you know, hiring the the people to do it for you. <laughs> yeah. So, text. yeah, because AI is now making it possible. The yes. software, you just moving stuff around, you just much. typing it in, mm -hmm. you know, and, and getting it to. Mm -hmm. um, so look out for a lot of expos, look out for workshops for digital marketing. And everybody's going to be looking at those yes. do-it-yourself type stuff. And it is going to be a huge trend. Yeah. Although we have yeah. uh, expos now, mm -hmm. but the, we're talking about digital marketing. Right, in your home. Yes. Your expos exactly. in the home. Exactly. And, and people 
people do that. They yeah. like I'm gonna have like not me, but I'm gonna have an expo. Well, yeah, I probably will. <laughs> I'm gonna have an expo. I'm gonna be in my house. You're gonna be in your house, but you still gotta pay. Mm. You know to get involved in it. Mm. So look at that as well. Another one is banking online. I love banking online. Let me tell banking you, in my app, I bank on my app. Yes, I like banking online too. My At first, I was against the it. Best. I was really against it because I'm old school. You oh, know, I want to see my money go in. Yes. I want you count my money in front. Me, I want my receipt. (laughs) Shoot, I I had to learn with the the apps. You know, actually, um, thankfully to USAA Mm -hmm. being in the military, moving around. When you you know sometimes Mm -hmm. they're at the bank, they're like, no, you have to come in and you have to be at the bank. You have to present yourself to say who you are. And it's like sometimes like I'm not in a place to be able to do that. that. So Mm -hmm. um, I just got to give a big shout out, and Mm -hmm. and I'm you know for USAA, Mm -hmm. and I'm not even getting any sponsorship. But you know that's a great thing because they have absolutely a great um, Mm -hmm. online banking system mm-hmm. and their app functions mm-hmm. phenomenally. I will tell you why. I do bank with the old school bank, an uh, uh, old school credit union that I've had since I work. Uh, you have to go. It's oh, okay. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost done. It's not time. Okay, so listen. Um, I do bank with someone that I've had bank with uh, since I was at San Francisco County. Um, they're not really upgraded on online banking. So just a super trick. If you do have a bank and you like the bank, you like the benefits because you have money market account or you have a, a different um, a Roth IRA account, a 401k with them. What you can do is transfer your funds out of that into a bank like like Chase or we're not going to name those banks and then you could do your online banking with that so that's a great strategy that way you can stay on budget as well all right so the next one we have which is super huge is cyber security cyber security is going to be mm. huge 2019 mm-hmm. it's already big i worked for google for two years so trust me it is huge but you're going to see military, a lot of small business now mm-hmm. what was available to them is now available to the individual person right so the entrepreneur the small businesses need to be aware of cybersecurity, yeah. especially right now mm-hmm. especially dealing with companies that we had this year they had those uh, breaches mm-hmm. the privacy oh breaches that were going on you're going to start seeing a lot of share economic you're going to start seeing a a lot of custom dating. Um, you're going to see a lot of mobile um, with cybersecurity. And also another thing that's kind of scary to me, but you've been through this and I've been through this working at tech is wearable devices. Oh, man. That's a whole nother conversation, oh, right? Yeah. All right. So listen, some of, some of this I'm going to have to probably just end up posting um, online or come back and do a live later because um, I'm kind of running out of time. But uh, digi- so digital marketable tens for 2019 for your business. Video marketing. I always use Road Finch. Also, shout out to my husband for that. Yeah, another thing is chat, chat box. Chabot. Again, chat box, chat box. Yep. Yeah, automatic AI power um, for your phone. It's going to become more and more mainstream. So look out for them. Social advertising. We talked about paid advertising. The paid advertising will let you do for your uh, Pacific demographic area. Also um, for your preferred age group and career interests as well. Interacting content is going to be really huge. I see it now. I kind of test it out. That's when you do quizzes and um, polls and uh, come on live and do q and a for your customers for them to be more and more active so you're going to start seeing a lot of more companies and businesses are going to be asking you for surveys and polls i will look out for the ones you could get paid for you see but, the ones on us on uh, instagram <laughs> also you could put your poll up yes okay. yes so that is going to be very much encouraged also again custom digital marketing is going to be encouraged also for arts if you are an entrepreneur and you're in the art, look out for AI. There are some great AI um, programs, software, apps that are integrating with art. Also, one more thing about video marketing. You're going to see a lot more um, expos and workshops. A lot of people just get on live and they just ramble on and they're not really clear their direction. But there are going to be apps that are coming out 2019 that are going to teach you how to do 
your video marketing. Remember, get a business page. 2019, a lot of your personal page you will not be able to promote. Um, and I have a trick for that as well. Women trends in business. Home foods is real big. The FDA laws have been passed for at-home kitchen. Yay. San Francisco mm -hmm. is leading in it. The downfall to that is the permit fees, the restriction on income I and bet. profit that you can make. You can only make under no. Fifty thousand no, a year, they did not cap and that. on top of that, the fees are ridiculous. Oh Don't gosh. forget your taxes. Your taxes is what eight point two five. How here dare in you California. provide a service that's healthy and for somebody? And the taxes are talking about going up. So please go out to vote on that. that so you ridiculous. might think, yeah, I could cook at home, but there are going to be huge restrictions. You still can't do eggs. You still can't do custard, oh my and your food will have to be temperature. So of be course. careful. Of course, people are selling plates. People. Are or, oh, buy my plate, buy my plate. They are not licensed. It is not approved. It has not been passed. So that is an illegal act. The only reason why I say that, because the fines is very heavy. Plus, you can face jail time. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So please, please get down um, uh, to the city. Find out what your... Um, Rights are find out FDA laws, what's been passed for you before you start your home business, before you start selling food. Please, 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 as a chef, as someone that that knows this, please find out your information before you start selling food from home. It owner. is a jailable crime. Mm, so please get down and do that. Also, podcasting podcasting is huge for women in business did you know women in business have po if you have a podcast to go along with your business it will increase your chances of growing i believe it also podcast <laughs> with ai is it huge sense, right now you know? i podcast from home yeah it makes sense yeah all the it? time mm -hmm. we would already discussed online banking um, online banking is huge. If you used to be a loan officer, there are online banking that are looking for loan officers. So if that's something you used to do, you used to do accounting, check into online banking. That'd be a great business. Another great business for women coming up in 2019 is consultant work. Mm -hmm. I do consultant work now in the culinary field, consultant work in, um, just about anything, anything that you used to do, like you used to be in the military, that's a consultant job. <laughs> like, um, I have a friend that just started, she's starting her consulting business and she is going to be consulting um, kid friendly programs. Nice. Yes. So, nice. And she also has a podcast that's going to be coming out about that as well. Mm -hmm. And she also is going to be reviewing uh, YouTube for kid programs. Nice. So, letting you know what programs that's is good important. for your kids to yes. watch and things of that nature nature also 3d printing is huge yes women please let's get involved in that mm -hmm. i love 3d printing okay um but there are some restrictions on that we have had problems with that but that that's a great business pets is a great business still anything plant-based as a vegan chef i'm already ahead of that curve web designing is huge if you understand seo then web de web designing is your friend yes also i have some other things but we could talk about that later. Um, women in technology. I'm going. I just decided I'll just do a show on that. Women in technology. Okay, yeah, so nice. I'm going to have a couple of friends come off that. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. There's Please so things, review yeah. this. Review this. Um, I'm going to probably do part two of this because it is so much information. But here's the thing that I say: Chef Tobias cooks. Women in business. Analyze your business plan your business i'm looking here instead of looking up here in the cameras right analyze your business plan your business implement and enjoy your success thank you thank you all right uh -huh. so then we're we gonna talk about the health and that yeah. uh makeup and stuff later right so chef tobias cooks here with the voice of stockton please visit us on youtube instagram 
Um, I for, I'm up here repeating all this stuff, and I forgot. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Visit Chef Tobias Cooks. Please go ahead onto my live, my podcast. I'm gonna do part two of this, and I'll post it on Chef Tobias Cooks for you to have. Thank you so much. See you next week, Chef Tobias Cooks, Women in Business, Voice of Stockton. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da